Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a video on how to pass the NCLEX in 75 questions. First, I guess I'll start off by saying the NCLEX, um, the PN, I, that's the one I took. I don't think it was hard. I feel like um, it's easier than U World. I'm gonna get into U World and the podcast I'll listen to later. It's not that hard. The questions are very short, they're very vague, but they're not that hard to me i had about 30 select all that applies and i feel like if you really if you really know the material you'll get that right and i'm gonna tell you how you get to know the material okay so i graduated okay we finished school in october and they didn't put our they didn't fix our transcripts to january so that school was getting my nerves i had to leave so i just i was in the rn program they're not accredited but the lpn is so i got my lpn i dealt with so I'm finna do that. Y'all don't care. I'm finna do a bachelor's bridge next year. But um, I studied from all October, thinking those gonna put our grades in. You know, sometime in October they didn't, and I had a URL subscription for 30 days, and I was gonna extend it, but I was like, no. And I'm glad I didn't extend it. They didn't fix our transcripts until January. So, so I studied all October. So I guess you say that was one month, and then I studied. I took the test on January 20th and I studied from the middle of December. We got our transcript break fixed December 19th. Okay, so I studied all the way from December 20th to January 19th. So you can say that was a month too. So in total two months. And I used UWorld and then I used the high, high yield podcast, nursing high yield podcast. L let me tell you how I use UWorld and, and how you, I feel like you should focus on your weakest subjects first. So I did 75 questions a day on UWorld and 75 questions a day. And I focus on my weakest subjects first. You get stronger your weak subjects, you're good because that's what the NCLEX is going to test you on. So get your weak subjects out of the way first. 75 questions. Don't do like the total, like random all. Like just do subject by subject. And then once you, you know, comfortable with your weak subjects, then you can do all. But get those weak subjects out of the way. And then the week leading up to the test, starting Sunday, because today, yesterday was Wednesday, 140 questions from Saturday to Tuesday. Then I did my little study guide. I have a study guide that I made from the notes of the podcast. And if y'all want those, let me know. Those are really helpful too. Now, you never know how many questions you're going to get on the NCLEX. I pray myself to get all 145 because you don't want to be sending that stress in if you go past 75. So I was doing 140 questions a day. I did, I did them in sets of 40 and 25. I don't really agree with doing, you know, 75, 75, and 75 on the questions because you're going to, your your brain is going to be tired trying to do 75 questions and read the 75 rationales. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. As I was editing, I realized I left out a whole a lot of stuff. Okay. So before my test on um, UWorld, I had, um, I was in the 97th percent percentile. So I know that's high, but you gotta take into account I've had a UWorld subscription before, so I, had, I already knew my, so for peds and maternal health, it was like this, 70s to 90s. And my mental health percentage scores were like, I mean, not mental health, that was high too, but my med surge scores was from like 52 to 70s and Sometimes I might get an 80. That was just like once. So yeah. Um, they say if you get above a 55 on the U World score, it's good. But U World is a lot. I don't. You shouldn't really focus on your scores. I think you should just really focus on the rationales, like stuff you miss, and focus really on the ones you get right and on the ones you get wrong. Because you never know. You might have guessed on the one you got right. You need to look at all of them. The next thing I used was the Nursing High Yield podcast. I listened to all of them, but two, and the two I didn't listen to was the Influenza. It was talking about um, who to not give live vaccines to, and I didn't want to focus on stuff I already knew. Then there was another one, like the girl had failed some, 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 I don't know how many times, but I didn't listen to those, but the ones I did listen to was wonderful. He was talking about, um, like he really brought down stuff a lot of folks get confused on like diabetes, diabetes and stipidus and the syndrome of inappropriate diuretic hormone and stuff like that. So that was really good. He breaks down, breaks down. What else? Chest tubes and all that. So that's really good. And I also did a few practice CAT exams on um, prep you. We got prep you from my school. Um, prep you, if you're thinking about getting that, nothing like the NCLEX. 
like none the questions are not similar prep you no no but if you want to um get a good idea where you might cut out that then yeah prep prep yeah but to prep for the NCLEX no but just do a practice CAT exam yes all I use is UWorld and nursing high yield and if you use those two you're good you're good you're nursing high yield right I got a lot of questions at nursing high yield um broke down on oh I also like to add nursing high yield is free their podcasts are free they have a tutoring session but I feel like if you use UWorld and their podcast and Kagura, you don't really need their tutoring session. But if you have failed before, I guess their tutoring session will be good. Their podcasts are all going good. I know their tutoring sessions will be, but it's free. Their podcasts are free. They have a Instagram page, and I'm going to link down below. So, yeah, that was really helpful. So, I'm going to free promo. <laughs> that's pretty much it. The Inclex pen really isn't that hard. Uh, I feel like you shouldn't overthink things. Just don't overthink the the don't overthink it's really not that hard and i feel like you should really focus on prioritization i had a lot of those and select all that apply i do a boatload of select all that applies which you might get a lot of i'm gonna get a lot of them i had got a lot of them I was like, Whew. okay is this one for me for the select all that applies i can go ahead and click out the ones i know is wrong but if i don't know the question like i'm really iffy i cut out the ones i know is wrong and just choose the rest of them like okay but I had got easy ones like diabetes, seizures, and stuff. Yeah. And that's how I studied for the NCLEX. I hope I helped you all. I don't know, but maybe I calmed y'all nerves. It's not, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Do not stress. My test is supposed to be today, actually, but I still need to get these out of the way. <laughs> so, yeah. And if you're wondering how I know I passed a day later, um, in Alabama, you can just type your name into the. So, Alabama updates their licensing daily on the weekdays. I don't know about the weekends, but um, I just woke up this morning, typed my name in, I had my license number, so yeah. Um, if you want more nursing videos, let me know. All my dogs just in the stand at me, hey. So yeah.